Hey, this is Greg Hawks and Dean DaCosta again for another session of Dueling Sorcerers. And today we're going to be talking about truck drivers. So, um, and, and Dean and I were just talking about this. Before we start digging into each type of truck driver and things like that, you've got to find out, you know, what kind of, of driver you're looking for. Are you looking for, what, like a hazmat driver, a tanker truck, truck driver, uh, over the road? I mean, so there's, there's various variations. And first you've got to figure out with anything, what kind of person you're looking for first. So, uh, and typically how I do that is, you know, if, especially if, if we're talking specifically with chemicals or industrial or, or something like that, uh, I mean, I just do a, a straight Google search, see what I can find, see if there's jobs online with companies, do a Google map search and just really see who's hiring in the area. and and really what what types of 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 drivers we're, we're really trying to target um actually the first thing i'd probably do is, is dial a friend dial one one of the the people that i know hires uh, and and try to talk with them and get some ideas so yeah that that that's really a really good way to do that i've uh i've way back in the day 12 years ago I've had to do that a few times. The other thing is targeting companies that you know have a lot of drivers. You know, like a lot of construction companies, they're going to have all kinds of high drivers, including hazmat. And hazmat drivers are interesting because they are hazardous material. The state, every state has on their one of the state uh, website will have a list of all of the licensed hazmat drivers because that requires a special um, special requirement. And the states keep an eye on that because you know if there are any kind of emergencies where has a material involved, they need to know who who can and can't do what because it could it could be pretty serious. Hazmat drivers are are a lot more serious than what people realize. They probably a lot of people think it's just like well they take wood that's got nails in it or they take asbestos, which they do. Don't get me wrong, but they can also do a lot more than that. And um, you know, yeah. uh, mold, which people are like mold. Uh, black mold is serious stuff. People die from it. I so. Saying. And it's like chemicals. I mean, chemicals specifically. I mean, exactly. I remember when when I was hiring for uh, industrial oil and gas companies. I mean, what we required was a twig card, and that's yep. also, uh, you know, with with any industry. I mean, certifications, licenses. They have licensing boards. They have registration boards. You have to you have to be registered to to hold a license. So I mean, honestly, something like a twig card. Um, you could just put into a, a search on Indeed, a search on Monster, things like that, and pull candidates with that certification a lot of times. Not only that, if you go into Google Maps and just look up truck driving school, you'll get all the truck driving schools. You're like, okay, how does that happen? Well, believe it or not, you know, these people train people to be truck drivers. A lot of them help them get a job. Well, if you're looking, they're going to let you know that, hey, we got a bunch of people getting regraduated or did graduate or whatever the case may be. And a lot of people that graduated, they're like, I have a friend of mine who's um, a truck driver. I play ball with him and when he's around anyway. And he was like about three years ago, he's looking for another job because he didn't like what, where he was working. And he went back to the driving school and they helped him find another job. Mm -hmm. So if you keep in line with these driving schools, they can actually be a great service to you in helping you um, find things out. Not to mention back a few of them, um, and I was just playing with it right now while we were talking, um, I actually found one and I did a uh, x-ray into it and I found a list of all the graduates. Yeah, I mean their, it's... With their ad email addresses, phone numbers, everything. That's what I do every day. You, it's amazing what kind of forums you can find with this stuff. I mean, um, and... You know, the other thing is those schools, that's, that's a great point of contact because you can start building relationships with people that teach the classes and just call them up. I mean, we used to do that when I worked in, in oil and gas uh, all the time. We'd call up local schools. Uh, they knew that we were hiring and they would send us a list of people, you know. Um, and not okay, only there's a site called rightnowloads.com slash truck, truck slash drivers. In my case, I went into Washington and it had a list of um, op of truck operators. Yeah. And it has their name, phone number, and everything. Now, these are, you know, individuals, so it's their own thing. These aren't huge companies. So I'm looking at one right now, DJ Matthews. And DJ Matthews is, yeah, he's, he's has my cloud light and all that good stuff. And it's sitting right there in front of you for free. Um, 
yeah, it, it, the information is out there. It's just, it's just, you know, it's one of the things where it's not as simple as what other people, you know, you know, people think, you know, some people think it's really simple. Uh, it's easy, like, you know, you go into GitHub and look for job builds, and there are some sites like that, but they're all paid. And so you have to do a little more investigating in here than you normally would do um, in, in other places. And honestly, like, I mean, I, I remember finding a site, one of my friends told me about a site called Manta.com, yep. and it has a list of, of uh, those types of companies, of truck, truck driver companies. And I mean, you know, I know people that used to call in <laughs> to these companies and ask for uh, the driver on, on, on site. And a lot of times they would talk to them right then and there. But, you know, you have to be really good at cold calling and, and phone sourcing for that sort of thing. Um, I think Dean and I are more, you know, finding the candidate online somewhere in a forum <laughs> sort of deal. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's it's definitely an art. And uh, with anything, I mean, you've got to research. You've got to research on what's out there um, because like just, just a general search on Manta, I was able to find several different truck companies and you follow the breadcrumbs to, to a resource like Dean just found and, and you know, open it up with the different profiles. I mean, um, so yeah, yeah, it, but really before you get diving into that stuff, you have to find out, find out really what kind of trucker we're looking for because there's, there's various types of truckers, like over the road truckers, like tanker truck people that drive tanker trucks, they have to have a different certification. Um, CDL is another keyword that I used mm -hmm. to use all the time yep. because there's various levels of CDL and not many people know that that don't deal in the, the trucking industry. Um, but you know, researching what each one of those CDL stands for and finding the licensing boards and things like that, that can really be a great advantage. I concur. So, um, yeah, and I mean, I'm trying to think of some other some other uh, tricks off the top of my head. Well, there's a site called Lead 411, which is really pretty cool. And I just put in truck driver within like five miles of Seattle and they came up with like several hundred people and you get their name, the company they work for, obviously their title, I just use truck driver. And then in some cases you get emails, in some cases you get cell phones. So that's a pretty, pretty interesting little site. And you know, for the most part, you can do it for free. You don't need to pay for it. Um, which I find interesting, but I find a lot of things interesting. And I would be willing to bet you, and I'm going to try it right now as we speak, just because I am curious if this would work. I'll bet you if I put in the word truck driver, and I look in the and I live and I look in Seattle, and I'm doing this in Facebook for those that want to know. And I'll bet you if I go in here and I'm going to do this right now. And yes, sure enough, there are a boatload of truck drivers. Uh, we're talking at least 3,000. Now, what do you do with them, of course, it becomes a big thing. Well, you know, Facebook has a rolling scroll. So you go ahead and you scroll it to get to the bottom. Then you zap info to get it out. Zap info will enhance it with more than enough information, truth be told. But if that doesn't, if it's not enough, then you can go into uh, seek out and let it enhance. And then the rest you can do one-offs. Uh, really simple process that works really well. But I mean, I'm looking at boatload of them. I mean, self-employed, Halfling Candy, Transmark Logistics. And if nothing else, also pay attention to the companies like Transmark Logistics, Logistics being, you know, supply and stuff, supply chain stuff. So they probably have a lot of drivers and he's the delivery truck driver. So that means they probably have a boatload of them. So you could target that company. Now you have another one down here who's an OTR over the, over the road um, truck driver. And he is at truck driver OTR, which means it's a company. He was at new sound trucking. So there's another company to start targeting. So not only are you getting candidates, but you're getting people you can target. Yeah, and I mean, that's that's just a prime example. I mean, I would also be interested to see kind of what's on YouTube nowadays because... Yeah, I, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. And and I mean, even if you don't have a specific person running the the, the video, uh, there, there's probably users out there that, that show how to repair a truck or if you're looking for um, somebody who's, who's like a, a, a diesel person. I mean, they might be... Um, they might be there showing how to repair certain things and, 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 you know, giving videos on that respect. And you can also find trucking companies that way. So a lot of what, what I used to do is I used to find a trucking company and then call into it. And I just did a search in Facebook for under a group called P truckers of past, present and future 15,000 people. Yep. 
And they're and, all truck drivers, past, present, or future. And they're in the and U.S., you, right? Yep. And you can yeah. download those even easier by using a different tool called Dig because it will download all the members of a group. Oh, I can do that. I've, I've built a data mine recipe for that. I think it's- Well, I, I have one too, but Dig, it's Dig's one of them things where I go there, I, I say members, I put my email, and then it sends me an email with the info. I don't have to wait or nothing. I can move on to something else while it sends it to me. Oh, so okay. That, you know what I'm saying? That's the difference. The difference is I can be doing something else. And when it gets it to me, it'll have their name, where they work, their title, if it's available, and then their Facebook URL, which then I can stick into Zap Info and get what I need. And or since it's a Facebook URL, I would go to Hire Tool first and then take the results from Hire Tool and seek out because Hire Tool is a little Hire Tool and Face Hire Tool does really well with the Facebook URLs. Um, but those are just examples, or I just go one off. So I don't really care. I mean, I could tell you right now, I could probably look up this gentleman right here. His name is Robert Monk, and he definitely looks like a truck driver. There's no doubt about that. The hint was the hat saying, I oh. drive trucks. <laughs> no, no, so I was, I was, sorry, I was, I was, I was doing some research on YouTube and I found a truck driver with like 92,000 subscribers, and I was looking to see what, what the hell is he talking about? I don't, he's talking about truck driving. And what, what I, I would do at this point is go through some of the comments and see if people had their full names or screen yep. names, and then use another tool to, to try to extract more information on them. So, I mean, that's, that's just an example. He had 92,000 subscribers. Um, so that's, that's where these guys are living. I mean, and you know, I, I know you and I like to use technology, but I mean, it's, it can be as simple as putting a sign on your, your truck driver's trucks and saying, I'm hiring and put the recruiter's name, their name and number on, on the sign. Just as simple as that, just like a bumper sticker, you know, like we used to use that trick or put signs out and uh, outside of our facility when the truckers would drive by and we'd get calls that way. You know, so uh, and, you know, especially out in the remote areas where they don't have uh, a lot of the, the technologies and they're just not on technologies as much as as a lot of us are. Um, well, they are, but they use different apps and stuff. But, you know, like we used to use radio ads. We used to we used to hire radio uh, uh, ads and, and utilize that and it would draw us candidates that way. So, I mean, everything's worth a shot in my book. And yeah, no, I agree with you. And, and, and it's really interesting. This uh, this particular search I found very, very interesting, uh, especially the Facebook, because there are a lot of groups in there. And interestingly enough, there are actually LinkedIn groups for drivers. And, 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 and I found that I didn't know that until I just did decide to play a little game with um, with a, 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 a Boolean search. But there are groups on Facebook. But you know where else? Meetup. Yes, that's so great. Or not. I mean, meet up for anything with a shared interest that would be great and i mean i don't know if there's conferences around trucking i mean i probably not all right i believe there are but but i mean that would be a prime place to go especially if your recruiter just show up <laughs> you know you know what's gonna be at um you know so a lot of it's old school tricks mixed with with new school tricks. Now I'm looking at this one app called Trucker Yes, Path. there are there are boatloads of conferences. There conferences for truck drivers. Top 17 trucking conferences of 2019. There's 17 of of, of, of them, and that's just in 10th Street. Uh, Omni Track is evidently a huge one. Uh, the Work Truck Show, Green Truck Summit, and Fleet Technical Congress, wherever the heck that, Truck Carriers Association, so there's an association, uh, American Trucking Association, by the way, why we're speaking of trucking, here's a place to go, and, and it's a place that anybody can do, all you can do is, like, is, is take a little walk to the local military base, go to the military transition office and ask them if they have a list of people getting out of the military who are truck drivers. Guess what? We have truck drivers and they have to have the same darn certification as the civilian world does. The only difference is they're going to have a boatload of experience. Yeah. I mean, that's, those are, those are definitely great resources and it's kind of making me think, you know, maybe, maybe there are some apps out there that, that truckers use. I know I, I look for one and it's called trucker path. So I know that there are apps that they use. But, a lot of GPS type apps. Uh, yeah, that's what this is, like fleet based things. But if there's a user base somewhere that's tied to that, that would make an interesting because I mean, those are those are national. Well, uh, they have a, and a lot of drivers will have GPS apps that are on their phones 
And so if you get an Android emulator or an Apple emulator on your computer, you can go ahead and find the apps that are most used and then you can look and then you can start playing games with that. In some cases, you can even get a list of the people who've downloaded it if you know how to do it. Yeah, I mean, that's that's great. I mean, that's a lot of resources. So, um, but I think, I think you just have to mix it up because you've got different audiences. You do have audiences that use applications and, and things like that. And then you've got the, the old, old school truck drivers that don't use any technology. So you've got to be able to capture both. So there's even a conference for women in trucking. Oh, really? Yeah, I know. I just did a very specific Google, um, x-ray, a very specific string, no x-ring involved. And I got a list of the attendees from the 2018 women in trucking event. I mean, that's what I do all the time for engineers. I mean, for, yeah. for software engineers, it's the same. I mean, it's the same type of concepts. So, um, and that's why I like doing this stuff because we find find out new things every day, right? Yep. <laughs> so, yep. but um, you know what's interesting? And here's a, here's a side note. It's interesting. You do. So, <clears throat> we both do this type of uh, research and sourcing all the time. That's cool. I don't know about you, but like I said, I haven't really done anything with trucking in about twelve years. But yet, because we have our base skills. We know how to do Boolean, we know how to do research, we know how to do X-Ring, we know how to do all that fun stuff, and we understand tools and how to use those tools. Uh, we were able to do it without any, without any, without having done it forever. And the point I'm trying to get here is, number one, for, these pe for people getting into the industry or, or not knowing what to do in the thing, learn your basics, Boolean, X-Ring, semantic, natural language, all that good junk, and then learn about the different tools and then learn how you can use the tools and combine the tools and all that. If you've got that tied up, you got that where you got it down pat or as pat as you can considering tools change all the time, it doesn't matter what industry you're in because if you're following the sourcing life cycle, you're gonna do your research first. So you don't have to know anything about it. You're gonna learn it by doing your research and then no matter what industry you're in, these skills are gonna help you succeed. Like I said, I haven't done recruiting, I mean trucking in 12 years, but here I am, and I've been and I've been able to blast off a whole bunch of places to do it, and I'm doing it live, and I'm finding lists and people constantly, and I haven't done it in 12 years. So that's an important thing because everybody's always talking about what tools should I get, what training should I get, um, what site can I find this on, what job board can do this. Forget all that. Learn your basics. Then learn about the tools. Then learn how to use the tools. Then learn how to combine the tools. And the industry stuff won't matter because research – well, you know, even if you're an expert in the industry, you're going to do your research first. I do it all the time. I, you know, I, I, I've looked for job developers literally every other day, it feels like, for the last five years. But every time I get a new one, I do research again because you never know what you're going to find. And sure enough, I find another synonym for a job developer. Uh, way back in the day when J2E was the new synonym for java i started i did some research i'm like oh wow so they also call it j2e and then about a day or two later i had another one. i did some more oh now it's also being called just j2 oh now jee -E, now just j i mean every I day you candidates come up and people come up with new synonyms for technology and so even if you've done it before you do your research and, and honestly that's why i start i started with just a straight google search looking for for uh, just a series of keywords to see what's out there. Mm -hmm. And I usually start with maybe three to four keywords before I start diving in and adding like site searches yeah. and things like that. I usually just do a general Google search to see what's out there and see what the what the, the map looks like, so to speak. So, yeah. um, no, I, I agree. And that's one of the reasons why, you know, a lot of people when they do their sourcing and their initial search like you, some people try to create this big elaborate string to get as narrow as you get. I don't. I create the minimum string I can. And the reason I do that is not because I love seeing a lot of candidates. I really don't. I want to see resources. But because if I start yeah. that way, I can do my research on the fly. I can start big and go, oh, okay, I get this word. Oh, this word also means, it. oh. So you learn as you go. You can almost combine your re your external research with your sourcing all in one. Your internal research, you know, inside the company and all that, there's nothing you can do about that. You got to do it. You got to talk to your hiring manager. You got to talk to other people who got hired. You got to talk. You got to look at what, what, uh, where most of the hires have been coming from, what kind of background, you got to do all that intern. But once you get to the external research, you can do that in conjunction with your sourcing. And that's why I like doing it that way. Whereas if you start with a real narrow search, that's great. 
you're going to get less candidates, but they may not be exactly what you want because you haven't bothered to research what you're really looking for. And if you have, then that means you've researched, then you've sourced, which by definition has to take longer than doing research and sourcing all at once. Yeah. And I mean, you could be missing out on resources that way too. I mean, just when yep. you do a straight Google search, you can, you can find conferences, associations, organizations that these people are a part of. Um, I mean, shoot applications. I mean, you can you can get just a general sense of where these people might live, where these people might be communicating, because it's it it may not be in the normal places that you're you're looking at. I mean, it may not. There's there's LinkedIn groups, but they may not be active there. They might be yep. active somewhere else. You know. Um, you know, so I mean, it, it's always good to do just a general search now, as far as research goes. I'm going to be sneaky as hell here and bring up something. This is part of my next book, but I've shown it before, so I'm going to bring it up. Another thing you can do is go on some of these sites, Twitter, Pinterest, wherever, where they do pictures. Find people you think are truck drivers or know are truck drivers, and it's going to be fairly easy to tell. Get the... Twitter handle or, or the Pinterest handle or their user ID, whatever the case may be, stick it in a tool called Creep Creepy and start plotting where they're at when they do all this. You're going to find at some point, probably a lot of truck drivers will be at one place all at the same time for a period of time. Now you're probably asking why. For the same reason, way back when you could find almost every tester at Microsoft at one bar on a Thursday. Because people <laughs> yeah. like mine tend to like to get together and hang out. Just like there are biker bars, there are trucker truck bars. And you might figure out where they're all at, and then you just show up. The other reason why you want to do it is because if you start with just, say, a Twitter handle, Creepy will not just pull where they've posted Twitter, but they'll also find Pinterest. They'll do all of it. And what you may do while you're doing that is as you're looking at them all, you may also say, oh, wait a minute. They're all all doing from here what is that and, it, and, and creep will let you get right down there you might find oh that's their home but then you're like well i can't show up there no you can't but then that you have their home which means you have their address you can stick that into other tools and you may end up with a phone number and an email i know if i go into one tool which is about property you know because you got to be with the state that you own the property and i put my name and i put my address in there it comes up with my name with my phone number and my phone number is not listed but yet there it is sitting right there so, and so you'd be surprised what a little geo-based recruiting can do for you. And D Dean, does that work with Instagram too? Because I know a lot of people who use Facebook are on Instagram. I mean, mm -hmm. I'd, I would be interested to see the the, the tie-in with truckers in general. But I mean, that's that's another way you can use Meetup to my, too. To you my can, knowledge, I think, and let me double check this because I'm trying to remember uh, all the places that Creepy works. And Creepy is going to be one of the featured tools in my book on OSINT that I'm writing right now, as a matter of fact. Um, so uh, let me see if I can. Yeah, so, and the other <laughs> thing is you can use meetups the same way. If you know that yeah. they have a meetup at, at a certain place, a restaurant or, 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 or a bar or something like that, uh, you can literally show up <laughs> and, yeah. you, know, you know, don't don't necessarily, you know, advertise, hey, I'm a recruiter, I'm here to recruit you, but, you know, have conversations, spark conversations that way. So if All you're right, bold, so. that is. So. Okay, so creepy, and I'm looking at it right now. Uh, da, 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 download, you, and you can download the results, all sorts of neat stuff. I'm just trying to double check because there have been some changes to it. Um, it can work Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, um, and then there are plugins that can that let it work in a whole lot more places, including the couple that you mentioned. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it, it, it with anything, I mean, you've got to you've got to tinker with it. So yeah, because uh, whenever you have like a, a tool, it, it defaults usually to the big ones: Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and then yeah, but you you've got some. Um, there are some. Um, there are some. I don't want to use the word extension, but there are some packs that you can install with it that will let you access others. The one, the copy I have has everything, so I can literally search any. I mean, literally, if there's a picture, it can it, it you can use Creepy to find it. That's pretty interesting, Dean. I'll have to check that one out again. So yeah, it's a really um, cool tool. But hey, I think that's a good place to stop. I think we've dropped a lot of resources. I didn't even realize that we had so much to talk about in, in regards to truckers. Yeah, no but, kidding. Um, 
But I mean, it's a, it's that's it's that kind of world. So thank you all for listening, and please share and and we'll. What are we going to talk about in the next one, Dean? I don't think we've I even talked about it. Question: I think we're back to something techie, and I think we should consider doing something like. Um, we could, well, we've done developers, so doing testers seems kind of productive since usually the, the places to search are pretty much the same. Let's try something like a network engineer. We haven't really done that. We did systems, but not network stuff. So let's do some network engineers and the network, get into that, the networky type stuff, network engineers and architects and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, we can, we can do stuff like that. I mean, it might yeah, be similar that. areas that we can maybe target, and especially on the global scale. Um, I've, I have some resources I can draw in and pull in as well. So yeah, um, no, let's let's do that. I think that would be a good way to go. But hey, Dean, I'm always glad to talk to you because I always learn something new. So I think I, and Likew- we, likewise. Yeah, we always we always get a good buzz with this. So let's, well, we let's, get excited. <laughs> We're talking about stuff we like. We learn from each other. We feed off each other really well. So it, it's really cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's uh, set this uh, for next month and and keep going. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Thanks. <laughs>